still sharing hauls of what I got on lotion day. It was a big deal for me and I broke it up in sections according to the promo and different things like to that and today I'm doing every Christmas uh, or every season Bath and Body Works picks one fragrance as their push fragrance the one that they think everybody's going to really love. And this year it was Pure Wonder. And just like usual, I like it. You know, um, I, I, I'm, I'm Kate. You know, I just, I just like that Bath and Body Works smell. This is it. It's not sexy. It's not grungy. It doesn't smell like perfume. It doesn't push to the floral or anything like that. It's just a clean, fresh, um, girl next door scent. I love the packaging. Can you see that? I think the packaging on um, the other parts are more elegant than this one because this is white. You don't, you see, you're not really seeing that. But it is on there. This looks very expensive though. It looks like something that I could walk into Neiman Marcus and pay 50 bucks for. And Bath and Body Works went for that. And this is a $16 cream. Yes, they did tack a few extra bucks on there. This right here is a $13 cream which I still think is a whole lot of money to walk into Bath & Body Works and somebody. I kind of feel like, you know, at those kind of prices, I could go to Sephora and, you know, have a upscale experience and pay, I think they have a cream for $19. So we're knocking on the door with this. Um, luckily, Bath & Body Works, um, caught themselves and they realized who they were so they did sell me this product for three dollars and 16 cents so you know they're like wait a minute if we go competing with um bath and body um if we go if we as bath and body works miss ba miss bath and body works miss kate go out there competing with um miss sephora uh Gucci gonna win, <laughs> you know? Gucci gonna get that money, you know? If you really go hard like that and you go up against Gucci and Givenchy and um, do you really wanna come for, you know, do you really wanna come for Givenchy? Do you really wanna come for Dior Bath and Body Works? You know, cause if your price starts to match their price, you know. So they, they kind of caught a hold of themselves and thought about that and had this $3.95 sale. So I got this for $3.16, which they did improve the packaging. This is looking very, very high-end. And if you had some gifts to give, you know. I, I mean, if I were buying a gift for somebody, I'd even roll out six bucks for this yeah if i had a coupon with it I'd, I'd go up to six bucks for this because it's elegant and the packaging is elegant and it's a scent that i i think most people will like it's fresh juicy they don't have the scent notes on here but i like this and i think the lotion is better than the perfume so the body care on this is amazing. I'm hoping that there's a soap day so I can pick up the soap in this. And I'm hoping the soap is just as good as the um, lotion. 
side note, guys, I will probably be giving this away. That's why I'm not trying it, but I do like it. Yeah, it's fresh and clean, and the packaging is elegant, so I'm going to try and give that to somebody special this Christmas. <laughs> yeah. And um, for myself, I got the bag, girl. Yeah. Are you a bad girl? Stay with me, bad girls. Yeah, here she is, heart of gold. You know, she, you, you can tell she's um, top shelf. She's high end. Look at that gold. You know, this is kind of old school high end though, because it's, this understated is more expensive now. This is what the younger high end um, there's another term for it, but girls who have expensive taste, and if you're with them, you have to be able to afford that life of luxury, you know, secure the bag kind of girls. But this is old school secure the bag kind of girls, you know. We're flashy. We're brass, you know. In my day, there was a term called, um, what was it? It was, um designer whore because we would put on every designer at the same time and we just looked so tacky and we loved every minute of it oh my goodness we wear these long fake nails and we put beads on it and then we'd have somebody the the nail tech would glue something a hole in the nail and we put jewelry on big old earrings Ugh. You know, big old gold earrings. We were tacky. I mean, this we would put this to shame. Bling, bling. Everything was bling, bling. Ah, oh, and I loved every minute of it. I don't regret a thing. So, <laughs> when I saw this with the full gold on it, this is a gold plaid. So, it's giving homage to... Um, people who work hard and all that kind of stuff and you see where I went with that so to each its own the scent notes are crispy golden apple creamy vanilla bean and warm sandalwood and you guys back in the day if you wanted to sell a fragrance you better have sandalwood in it sandalwood is a very expensive spice but it is the scent that I and my whole generation loves. I think it's a tree in India. I know it's a tree in India, in fact. And people used to actually get little pieces of bark and burn them for incense, you know, so you see a little incense. That was so cool, too. Oh, the incense. Oh, my goodness. We loved incense like y'all love candles. <laughs> okay. I don't know how I got, you know. Let me see. Back down memory lane. Oh, I'm going back. I guess that's what happens at a certain point in life. And I have been looking at this and waiting for it. And it's everything I wanted. It is sexy. This smells like perfume. It smells like an expensive high-end perfume it, spell, it smells um, top shelf, boozy. Ah, yes. I think it's even sexy. It's not strong. And I think the lotion is not as good as the spray. Um, in the lotion, I smell more of the apple. And y'all know, Bath & Body Works slays the apple. I mean... Bath and Body Works kills the apple. They got apple down. Can't nobody do an apple like Bath and Body Works. And Bath and Body Works is so good with apple. They can tell you which apple it is, how old it is, what color it is. And you can smell it. You'd be like, yeah, they got it. That's, that's definitely a juicy red delicious apple. That's a gala apple. Macintosh, pink lady apple. Mm. Country apple. What? You want an apple, Bath and Body Works, 
they slay apple. They are the best apple picking fragrance company ever. And what kind of apple is this? Crisps golden apple. And every word of it's true. Believe it. When Bath and Body Works tells you what kind of apple you're going to smell like, you can just take that to the bank, cash the check, and pay your folks. Because it's going to be in the bank. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. You don't have to worry about PayPal. I love this scent, too. This is a good one. And as I had been waiting patiently, they sent me a free uh, fragrance coupon. I went in there on lotion day. And I got this. Oh, my goodness. You guys. If you have somebody over 35 to buy a fragrance for from Bath and Body Works, and they are a person that was a part of the gaudy um, Shaniqua, Shanene, um, let me see, there was, a, there was a movie even dedicated to shopping, you know, I can't even think of it, you guys, uh, you know, all, all that time, all those beautiful women shopping, wearing expensive designer clothes, it was everywhere. Why can I not remember my life right now, you know? All I can remember is Shaniqua and Shanene, but they were just a part of it. It was everywhere. Um, I was reading this book about this lady who had a shopping addiction, and she was hiding it from her husband, and we were all doing it, you know, every one of us. We're hiding bags in the back of the closet, in, in the car, you know, Tending like that old thing. Yeah. If, if you have somebody over 35 in your life who is fabulous and they do the most, I can guarantee you this fragrance is for them. If they liked, um, if they wore poison, you know, any version, if they wore any Dior fragrances, this is the one. This is not strong like those, though. But it smells like an expensive designer perfume. I would even buy the perfume in this. I bet it's amazing. And the spray in this is the best. Oh, my goodness. I don't normally do this. But, um, yes. Oh, my goodness. And I was saving this. This is my good stuff. You know, when you get your good stuff, you try to hold on to it. Because sometimes, you know, fragrance companies today, they don't have any problem changing the fragrance if you'll just, and they will catch you slipping. You know, I'll be thinking, yeah, it's got sandalwood, and they'll just switch it up. Ah, that sandalwood is in the spray. So if you don't like sandalwood, this is more apples. Ooh, that's good ah and it has that champagne quality that again um, nobody knows that champagne quality like um, Bath and Body Works oh my goodness cream creamy vanilla it's titillating this is a new kind of sexy this is more um, sophisticated snobby sexy though she ain't going to speak to everybody. You are going to have to work on this one. You know, when you smell this, you know you got to up your game to get in this house. Oh, yes. So, I'm really enjoying the fragrances put out by Bath & Body Works this year. And I'm so glad that they had a sale that allowed me to get my hands on them like old times. Um, I paid three, I paid 33% more for this lotion day than I have in the past. Usually the lotions are $2 each on sale. This year they were $3.16 on sale, but they upped their game. So since they upped their game and the lotion is better quality, you know, I 
think it's going to work out in my favor. God bless you. Did you get anything on Lotion Day? I got a few more videos because I'm splitting mine up so I can smell something.